Hey guys, what is going on? It is Matt from Fidelity Gaming TV, and this is another episode of Calgary Flames franchise here, and we are entering our third season as a GM. First season didn't go too well. Second season we made the playoffs, lost to the first in the first round to the Edmonton Oilers. Hopefully this year we can get past that first round, and we'll first get to the playoffs and then get past that first round. But uh, it's gonna be fun. So we start off in the off season. We're gonna start with the NHL entry draft. Unfortunately, we don't have that first round pick because we sent it to the Colorado Avalanche for Gabriel Landeskog. So we're gonna go ahead and get Liam Ginnell here in the second round. Looking pretty good. Obviously not the best. Mitch Jones. We're gonna get in the third round. Like I said before, um, no players that we got that were that big on potential so doing some contracts here we got Bobby Ryan we're gonna try to lock him up here for six years he wanted just over six million trying to lock up Curtis Glencross and then right here the biggest news of the episode we're gonna get Matt Duchesne from the Colorado Avalanche we uh, do a lot of deals with the Avalanche for Niskanen and Jackman and a couple of uh, draft picks so um, really excited to get uh, Matt Duchesne we're going to make him the captain. I feel like he can lead this team. And we're going to make Landis Cog the alternate captain and Weidman the um, secondary alternate captain. So um, here are the lines. Barchi on the first line with Duchesne and Ryan. Landis Cog is on the second line now. Um, doing pretty good. Maybe we should get some more depth players. Um, but really uh, all 80s throughout the lineup. And then on defense... Uh, we did had we did have to trade away a few, so a little um, shallow there, and then we still got Briskalov and Harding in net. So it looks like we got things pretty much locked down in goal, and uh, we look at the Heat lineup. So looking pretty good here, and uh, hopefully they can make a good run for it. The boss is expecting us to make the playoffs this year, much like I am. Hopefully we can get past that first round and get to the second round. Um, so we're gonna be taking the simulation month by month. Here's the first game against the Phoenix Coyotes. And we go ahead and win that one 4-3. to three. We start the season off 1-0. and oh. Look at Matt Duchesne with that hat trick in his first regular season game as a Calgary Flames. So that's why I got him. Really, I'm um, glad to see that. Amateur Scout is saying that the overview of this year's draft class will be a bit weak, but that's okay. We didn't get anybody too big anyways. We're going to scout some forwards in the WHL for six weeks. Hopefully that will help because we always need scouting. And at the end of October, we're 6-1-1. One one, so you can't really ask, ask for much of a better start, really. Um... Looking pretty good there. Um, we do lose to the Predators 3-2, uh, to two, and that will make us 6-2-1. and one. So, uh, yeah, pretty good start. Glad that we have the record that we do have. Um, I don't believe I'm going to show the standings just because it's so early on um, in the year. But as we move to the end of November, we win our last game there, and uh, we are 16-5-1. So that's a pretty strong record still. Very happy with it. I want this team uh, to be you know, higher than they were last year in the standings. And we look at the entire league, we're second and only behind Chicago. So we're second in the West. The Heat are fifth in the league. So both these teams are dominating, especially the Flames, which is the main focus here. So we look at some forwards in the WHL again. Hopefully we can get some good players out of there. Uh, they have some potential. So um, I don't even think we have a first round pick again next year. It's kind of uh, disappointing. We'll try to get one though. Um, at the end of December, we are 24-11-1, second in the entire league, still only behind Chicago by one point, so we're really close to the top of the league. Heat also moving up there, third overall in the entire league in the AHL. We are going to scout some more forwards in the WHL. You see most of our scouting is pretty much finished there. We got a lot of uh, good players, it looks like, um, so we're going to scout their team. And uh, we look at the all-star team. Nobody on the first line, uh, hoping that we can get some players on the team here. Uh, yeah, there's the first line. We look at the second line. Bobby Ryan made it, so that's good. Uh, you know, hopefully we can get some all stars. You know, help our team out. We got Barchi making it. That's great. Uh, he's a good part of this team. Duchesne making it, so that's three all stars. Um, look at the defense. Nobody really, uh, but we did get Weidman, so that's good. He's the one making it now. And um, as we look through it, we're gonna look at the goaltenders here. And Briskalov makes it, so. We got five all-stars. That's really good. Briskalov, Weidman, Barchi, Duchesne, and Ryan. So as we move on to the end of January, we are 34-14-1. Still a very impressive record. We're going to look at the standings here in a second. We are first atop the league, two points ahead of Toronto. Very, very strong. And the Heat remain in third overall in the league in the AHL. So uh, still pretty good. And um, now I need to tell you guys that I uh, accidentally... Uh, did not record the rest of the season. 
pretty much stayed atop the standings. I think we got uh, third overall or something like that in the league, or in the Western Conference. So we do pretty good. And uh, now we will go to the end of the season here. Uh, Matt Duchesne, and uh, he's leading our team in goals with 33. Actually, him and Ryan are tied with assist. Barchi is leading our team. Um, glad that he's stepping up. He's a big piece of this team in points. Duchesne is leading our team with 79. Barchi is also very close, as well as Ryan with 75 each. And plus and minus is going to be led by Matt Duchesne, Bobby Ryan also in there. So um, good job there from all those guys. That's why we got them. We want to make sure that uh, offense is the main part of our team. Our defense is all right. Um, definitely want to improve on that. But offense is always um, needed. So I decided to go with that. So uh, look at the Heat. Um, you look at uh, a couple of players. Monahan we're looking at. Um, not too... Um, good you know he is good i guess but he led the team he was closely in the team in some spots but uh he's getting there so um you know end of the season comes yeah we get uh fourth in the entire league and third in the western conference like i said we qualify for the playoffs once again so um we will be facing the los angeles kings as you'll see in a second and the heat get fourth in the whole league and fourth in the western conference so obviously the western conference um, dominating in the AHL. So, like I said before, we're going to be facing the Kings, who went 45-29-8. and eight. We'll be looking at their lineups next episode. Sorry it was a bit of a short episode. It was kind of weird. It would have been a really long one if I added the playoffs. So, uh, I'm going to let the playoffs... Uh, I'll leave those for next episode. So, that's what you have to look forward to. Stay tuned for the next episode of Flames Franchise. They're in the playoffs once again. Hopefully, they can get to the second round and defeat the Kings. Check out the channel, leave us a like. This is Matt, signing off of FGTV. Peace.